Is this the most valuable thrift store find ever? Dustin the Pro Picker here. I'm going to share with you some of my and my wife's thrifting over this winter. So we have actually been out quite a bit, not as much as previous years, but still really pounding the pavement, looking for the deals to flip for a profit on eBay. So I saw that they had a bunch of different Revere wear pieces, and usually I'll buy one or two of these at a time to create a set, but they practically had enough for a Revere wear set right here. And a whole set can go north of 100 shipped. So, I mean, you do take a little bit of a ding on the shipping with uh, such a large and kind of heavy item. But this was actually not a copper bottom that I have in my hand right here. We're really looking for the copper bottom pieces. So I do put back the steel piece there. So we had uh, this Hallmark ornament that I found. And this was only 99 cents. And during the holiday season, these go for around 15 bucks. So I did end up grabbing that. Always wanting to check out the new clothing parts. So this Aaron Rodgers jersey and this Reds jersey, uh, I actually did look them up on eBay just to make sure. And I end up putting both of these back as the sell through didn't seem to be good enough or as the, the, the sold comps weren't good enough. But I did find a brand I almost never find but it's weird this video is going to be loaded with it. And uh, this is a Patagonia polo shirt here. And I want to say it's $2.99, but I think dress shirts, I'm confused if polos count as dress shirts or not. So I don't remember if I paid five for that. And here's a little recap of everything from the first visit. You'll see some repeats of the same stores here, but we do go to a variety of stores in today's video. And we definitely make what has to be the most valuable find we've ever made in a Goodwill. Uh, these Hoka's were in actual really good shape, so I think we can get the 50-60 mark. Uh, a couple years ago, you could buy beater Hoka's and get crazy money for it. Here we have, uh, this says Puffy in the comp here, but this is actually a Schwinn. And yeah, this Schwinn bike uh, can go for some pretty decent money, but as you see, we're gonna end up uh, parting it out here because the comps on the part out and the shipping on the part out is just so much better to, to try to handle than to try and ship this giant monstrosity. I had to wedge it up on my tailgate, but it was only $14.99 for the bike, so I really couldn't resist, guys. And while uh, the condition of the parts may not be the same as you see in the uh, video here, the, the comp condition uh, is better I think we'll definitely be able to turn a profit on this. People are always are looking for Schwinn parts, especially for something neat like that tandem bike there, uh, for sure. So out in another thrift, I saw this Hakuna Matata t-shirt and I picked it up for Jess. And this is a dual fold um, lawn sleeve. It's kind of like an undershirt or whatever, thermal. And uh, we've already sold it for $19.99 and we paid $2.99 for it. I'm not 100% sure if I got this dry fit or not. I'm pretty certain I did. Uh, there's a recap, so we'll get to that, um, where we'll see what shirts I do end up picking up here. So this is another one that I picked up for Jessica. She has another Zelda shirt, so I thought she would enjoy that one as well, and uh, she really does like that shirt. This is one that I end up picking up for myself, so $2.99, uh, pretty good price on that. And then we've got the Nike dry fit there, the dual fold and the Hakuna Matata shirt. So uh, a few buys for ourself here, which is okay. We don't do it too often. Uh, here at another thrift, uh, they had a bunch of new stuff out. Uh, there's a fair amount of people here, so I'll edit around that. But I bought all of these uh, Mr. Christmas, uh, Mr. Halloween, uh, Mr. Christmas uh, trees here. So there's some decent value to them. Uh, Five bucks a piece is really why I ended up popping on them. Uh, I did end up putting back these willow trees at three ninety nine. Uh, we sold this squishmallow on one of our live auctions. However, uh, there's an eBay comp for you, so if that helps you out, and uh, I end up putting back this Santa. Uh, I guess it's like a wall plaque or something, but still, it, I thought it was super cool. Got another squishmallow that I chucked in the cart there. I don't remember if I actually got it or not. Here, I'm actually digging, and that's what you got to do on uh, carts like this sometimes. And I found this Pyrex piece. 
It's uh, one of the primary color yellow mixing bowls, the 404. And uh, its condition's a little rougher than I would like, but I think I pulled the trigger on it, to be quite honest. Uh, we have a few of them listed right now. This is crazy. So just one video game laying there. It was Need for Speed Most Wanted for $2.99. And this uh, game right here goes for $50 to $60 all day long, even in the Greatest Hits variant there. So in the cart, that goes for sure. Absolutely thrilled to pick that up because, I mean, obviously easy list, easy ship, and a very, very good profit margin there. And I continue to dig uh, under that uh, egg deal there and find this Ultra HD Blu-ray player. So you need to look out for these guys. Um, a lot of people pass this by, but it's $6.99. That's a total pickup there is that's going to flip for an easy uh, $80 plus, even without the remote. So super happy about that. Uh, Ultra HD Blu-ray players uh, still sell, and they still sell very well. They had only $5 on this 25, but we already have 25s. But I figured uh, I would get a few reps in there. And here we are headed back to this store where I did pick up this Columbia Notre Dame jacket and uh, a Notre Dame hoodie by Under Armour here. I don't have an exact comp for that, unfortunately, guys. And I know I picked up a pair of shorts that I just don't know which ones they actually are, like, in the barn right now. Uh, we do have these Hagger pants listed for $29.99. Hey, guys. So just ran in here, and I got this hurricane lamp. It's all wrapped up, so I'll try and show you, like, a picture of what it looks like. I picked up this Duluth trading deal here, and it's, like, button kind of sweatshirt, sweater kind of deal. Got these Venture golf balls. Ended up getting 21 Pilots Vessel vinyl here. It is a little rough, but at 99 cents, can't complain. Throw out at the Goodwill here. Just ran in real quick. Ended up with a lot of uh, different board games. So this is like a deck building game, uh, Shadow Run Crossfire. And I know this one's pretty solid. And I saw some kind of evidence that this could be good, so I went ahead and picked it up. Twilight Struggle, I think this is more around the $35 range. I think we're at the $35 range here. What do you think we're at there? Uh, $18. So there we go. We got all this for like 31 bucks. Should definitely be profitable. Let's go to the next rift or go out to eat. Breakfast. All right, so another day, another dollar. So this uh, VCR combo unit was not a DVD recorder. So at 15 bucks, I do end up putting that back. These are special edition silver Xbox 360 controllers. Missing the back though, so we're gonna have to order some black backings for it, which we often do. And in the cart, those definitely go. There's another surprise controller coming up as well. Uh, this copy of Sniper Elite 3 at $2.99, not a terrible deal. I believe I ended up putting that in the cart, just uh, why not at $2.99. And we continue to look around. I find this Shrek 3D, which we've already sold for $16.99, and I believe I paid $2.99 for it. So that's pretty awesome. Decent flip. Not a crazy amount of money. Just found this uh, after everything kind of calmed down at the store. And it is, um, I believe the brand is Chaos Controllers. I can't remember exactly. Uh, it'll pop up on the screen. Uh, and yeah, they're Controller Chaos, excuse me. And they're custom controllers. So obviously this one's different, but you can kind of see where the comps fall. And we'll probably find a black backing just to put with it and uh, see how much we can get. But at $2.99 for sure. I found this NECA Harry Potter puzzle here. So uh, we should be able to get like uh, 20 bucks for it or so, uh, plus shipping, so not bad. Looking through the clothing here, I end up putting back this Reds jersey. Uh, it, was, it wasn't a specific player. So back on the uh, Z-Rack that goes. We did end up grabbing this pair of pants here though, and I, Thought I put a comp on the screen, but didn't. On another day at this same store, I got this OGO golf bag here. A sort of similar one there for you. And then I continued looking around. Uh, I love PC big box stuff. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough value on this need for speed to uh, pull the trigger on it. So I did end up putting it back. 
but I just always gravitate towards PC Big Box when I see it, just because I love it so much. I found this mug here on this cart, guys, and it was a llama one, and it was living in a, or walking in a winter llama land, and uh, Jess really likes llamas, so, uh, you know, I got that for her, of course. $1.99, it's her favorite mug currently. Uh, continuing to look around at another store here, this one's pretty crazy, guys, so... I found this Husqvarna, and these are embroidery cards that you put in the actual machine. It'll, like, help you make patterns and stuff. And these things are awesome when you can find them uh, complete like that. So, a buck ninety nine, definitely going to grab that. Uh, $1.99 here, absolutely grabbing this one. It's already sold for $49.99 shipped. Super great flip. And at that point, it just got me digging for more Husqvarna stuff to see what I could find because... I absolutely uh, want to make sure that I get as much of that as I can in my cart. I do not end up getting this champion hoodie here, or I don't believe this Under Armour piece as well. But I found this Pata here. I, I've never found so much Patagonia as I have this winter. It's only like three pieces. But yeah, definitely going to pick that up. Uh, easy sale. Another Husqvarna embroidery hoop here, as I can totally speak. And that... Uh, I think has sold comps around the $30 mark shipped. So not bad at $1.99 for that. Here we have this true religion bag that I do end up picking up for five bucks. And the sold comps are around that uh, $25 to $30 range shipped. Uh, have an LL Bean. This is not exactly the same, but it's an LL Bean snow globe. Uh, I'm gonna take the plunge at it. I think it was three or four bucks. And this is something that we decide to pick up, or I decide to pick up for the house, or the barn. I did not end up getting the Elizabeth Taylor uh, Life magazine there. So back on the cart, that goes. Uh, and I put this bag back. Uh, here on another trip to the store, my camera uh, wasn't on, so I ended up turning it back on, but this Hard Rock The Beatles jacket, uh, Here's a couple of them that are listed. Here's the only uh, sold comp that I see for it. This sold comp's out of the UK, so uh, your mileage may vary on it, but at $4.99, it's definitely something I'm going to pick up. So there's a lot of stuff going in and out of my cart at this visit, so just kind of bear with me. Some of these listings are based off of like similar items from the same line. So I'm just going to put our listings up there. Not saying that we're absolutely going to get that. We did get the uh, amount on the screen there for that brownstone clock as it is already sold for $34.99 shipped, which is a decent flip. I mean, you know, there's a fair amount of shipping that we uh, put into that, but still pretty solid. And here we have the snowman. Uh, some OSU, uh, more OSU stuff. That comp looks like it might be for a different school or the lighting just made the snowman or Santa look orange. And here we have this snowman listed. Actually, no, this sold. So it should have a cha-ching going on there, but I messed up. Uh, $49.99 on it. So super cool. We sold that for 50 bucks. And at another store here, we're just kind of burning through it. I found this model for $5.99 and we have sold it for $49.99. I thought it was the bigger scale model of the same line that goes for $100. I was super excited, but found out I was wrong. And here's my third piece of Patagonia as promised. And we've already sold it for $39.99. I passed on the redhead stuff here. But this jacket, so uh, this jacket's by Rothko, and it's a military uh, jacket, and it's in the style of, like, the desert style. So uh, here's a comp for it. Uh, I'm hoping we can get about 30 bucks shipped for it, so not bad. We did sell these Under Armour men's tactical pants here, and uh, we sold those for $29.99 shipped, which is solid. I did not end up grabbing this Michigan hoodie. I, I'm pretty sure that went back. And I'm pretty picky nowadays with clothing. I do make mistakes from time to time as it's not like my expertise. So that's why I'm cautious and I don't necessarily buy everything I potentially could. All right, into another store here. We make a pretty awesome find here that we did actually sell. Can't wait to share it with you. So 
We're gonna get right into it. This is a Notre Dame Danbury Mint truck here, and you won't believe what it sold for. It's wild, I paid $5, and we sold it for $119.99, free shipping. Gotta love it. Here I am back at uh, a store you've seen a few times in this video. I picked this up. I can't find any sold comps on it, guys. Sorry. And uh, it's still in the barn. I don't even know if it works, but figured I would share it with you. Uh, this is going to be a part out unit that I'm looking at right here. It's a Black & Decker stand mixer deal, and it doesn't have the bowl or we would sell the complete unit. However, $3.99, I'm going to pick it up because uh, I might not get that 69 plus 51 shipping without the two bowls that come with it. But just looking at the uh, mixer beater set uh, replacement set there, I mean, we're looking at about 40 plus dollars uh, free, uh, free shipping there. So totally gonna pick that up and uh, part it out. Here, I don't end up getting this Cracker Barrel uh, ceramic tea set. Is It's not really comping out too well, but I did take a look at it. And uh, on to another store, another day. I do buy this and we have sold it. It wasn't super profitable um, and also it's fragile. So it takes time to pack and ship, but we sold it and we made a little bit of money. So that's okay. It happens. Sometimes you get a little uh, eager and you buy something you probably shouldn't have. Uh, here, I put back those Keens. Now Jessica is gonna take over, at least in the footage here. Uh, she's preoccupied with something else right now, so I'm going to continue to voice over, but she gave me some uh, advice on what she did pick up. Now, these tapes are pretty much always a default buy at 99 cents when they're sealed. Some of them go for way more money than this. Unfortunately, these weren't super valuable, but this peanuts tree, super cool. Um, should get about maybe around that $25 shipped uh, for that brand new, maybe a little bit more. So uh, not a bad little pickup there. I want to say it was $3.99, so not bad at all. And uh, she did get this Traxxas. So Traxxas is always expensive, guys. Pick it up, $1.99. Should sell for $34.95 is what the comp is that we have there. The other stuff in the cart was uh, for our live auctions, but this game board here is super cool. So. We do end up uh, picking up this game board, uh, Vintage 70s, uh, what is that, uh, Camrom, Harrom, uh, get me in the comments. Pronunciation, sometimes it's not my strong suit, but complete, uh, it goes for like 70 plus shipping. However, I'm not 100% sure I'd have to go like in the barn and look if it has the uh, pull cues. Just picked up not one, but three of these Columbus Blue Jackets. First Responders Knights jerseys, and we've uh, already sold one for $49.99. Uh, we have $2.99 uh, plus tax in all of them. Um, the jeans that you see there, here's an eBay comp, but again, we ended up selling ours on a live auction for actually less than that. So uh, we have $4.99 into these, and uh, brand new jeans like that are usually something you can pull the trigger on when they're something like Levi's because, I mean, usually those are probably like $60, $70 in the store. Just did pick up this Jurassic World. Uh, I didn't want to try like look for the comp, to be quite honest. So there's our listing based off of sold, sold comps. It is a battle-damaged dinosaur there. And uh, if you're missing uh, hearing Jessica's voice, don't worry. Uh, we have a segment in a minute that's going to... Uh, be predominantly her and uh here we have it says pikachu we sold it for 19 dollars plus shipping on a live auction but it's pichu and uh, that's a different pokemon character just picked this up for i believe 2.99 and this has become where our bubble mailers res uh, reside now so not a bad little bubble mailer holder and cool for the barn uh, the footage gets less blurry in just a second here. We, uh, she didn't buy any of these, but I thought they were super neat. And I wanted to see if you guys in the comments, uh, and if you had these growing up, let me know. It's pretty interesting to see those in the original boxes like that. Uh, just to pick up uh, the two Pyrex things, including the Patriots one. The Pyrex Portables uh, sells uh, better on eBay than the uh, Patriots one does. Uh, here we have the Miss Me jeans that we've sold already. We paid $4.99 and we've sold those for $29.99 free shipping. Here is a uh, listing 
of our Hallmark keepsake ornament that Jess picked up. I believe she had $1.99 into that. Uh, we did sell on a live auction the Christmas Story dominoes, but just for uh, to help you guys out, there's an eBay comp for those. These Echo golf shoes, they're spikeless, have already sold for $49.90. Uh, sold comp here for these cool Abura Ugg loafers. Just picked up this sweater. I'm having a real hard time finding an exact comp on that. Um, here's a comp for this uh, Memphis mug. I feel like I'm speaking to my own minute, but yeah, she did pick up that Timberland jacket. The goal with that one would be uh, maybe like $30 shipped for it. But this trip is crazy here. Uh, all this happened, uh, the Jess footage that you're seeing, I was actually off the route uh, during my injury. I'm totally fine now, so uh, don't worry. But we have uh, this Harmon Carden here, uh, two of them, actually. This is the 730. These are really heavy hitters, guys. And I'm going to go over some comps with you guys in just a minute. But uh, wisely, she plugs both of them in. And... This one here uh, turns on, so that's a really good sign. So 9.99 is an absolute buy on these, but I think they're gonna need some work is my understanding. And then she does plug in the other one here just to check it out. And as she uh, turns it on, it looks like the light tried to come on for half a second and um, doesn't wanna work. Uh, she puts it back, which kind of freaked me out for a second when I first saw the footage. But then she picks it back up and puts it in the cart. So she does end up buying both of them, thankfully, because that is uh, definitely a heavy hitter for sure. Uh, here, and we're going to have way more on that in just a moment. Here she picks up this tough belt. That's the closest comp I could find, guys. Hoping to get like 30 bucks out of it. I want to say she paid $5.99 told me she paid $2.99 on this controller, which is a good price for a six axis. We'll probably pair it with a system. She also picked up Ace Combat 4 and uh, Sly 2, which is sold uh, for $21.99. So meant to have a cash register sound there. Jess did pick up this cool upper. Uh, uh, here's a recent sold on it. So not bad. I think that's $5.99 for a winter jacket like that. Hey guys, so I'm here with Jessica the hero of the day, purchaser of the Harmon Cardins. <laughs> well, um, just a little bit of context. So we didn't test any of this by the time I did the thumbnail, the title, or started editing the video. So I'm like part way through the edit right now. So both of these were $9.99. Yes. And one of them didn't even power on at all in the store, right? Right, okay. which is not shown here. It's over there. It's over there. All right, but it looks exactly like this unit. Yes. I'm going to throw in my two cents on the matter. First off, she absolutely did the right thing buying both of these. Great buy, great pickup. I'm going to uh, note that on these older receivers, this is just my experience that I bought a ton of these. Typically, something doesn't work on them or they all, or they don't work at all. Like the other unit didn't power on at all. So that's probably like they're for parts unit and they were trying to fix this one or they had one, they bought this one to replace it. Then this one went out and they donated it. So I'm going to guess that not everything works. Correct. And uh, I've, she's been working out here on this stuff while I was editing today after I went out sourcing. That's uh, <clears throat> not in a video because I didn't buy anything today. Press the power button. So you, okay. She powers on. Mm -hmm. Now over here, if I press play, copyright music will play. So. And these are some cheap speakers that came with another receiver I purchased. Yeah. Actually, the Cambridge sound works, but yeah. Yeah, they're good speakers. But anyway, uh, everything seems... I, I should say I, they were cheap to me. Yeah, everything seems to work except for uh, the the radio okay. tuning. Okay, so the, oh, the AM FM tuner doesn't work. Correct. At least I couldn't get That's it to work. That's actually my... not the worst thing on it. So the thing is, something not functioning on this definitely doesn't make it worth like a thousand dollars unfortunately so we would have to note that but it's not a for parts unit then actually wow that's shocking it's a working unit that's a working unit and a working unit of these has sold for a thousand bucks we might have to take a little bit less this is the actually this is surprising because i wasn't really expecting that this is the most valuable unit 
slash item that I think we've ever thrifted that just got it. I mean, I was out injured during it, so she took my route. I really wasn't going to buy them, too. Like, I oh, really? back and forth. Back. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to buy these, but they're only $10. Oh, and I put them in the cart, and I was like, well, I better test them. I plugged them in. One, one worked, one didn't. I put the one that didn't work back, Ooh. and then I was like, ooh, how much do they go for parts? And they sell pretty well for parts. So I was like, get them both. By the way, like great buy by her. With one thing not working on this, we're gonna get a little bit less than that comp. I don't know how much less. And it will take longer. <laughs> it will take longer to sell. It's just how, it's just the nature of the business with these things. We could, we have somebody, a contact, and we could see how much it would cost for him to tinker with it. And that might actually be worth doing because we have a stack of receivers. And he could just refurb it because- Oh, he could fix the other ones. Yeah, he, he, he would do stuff like that. So that's probably gonna be an option with these. We're probably gonna send this out now that I think about it. I forgot all about that. And uh, seriously though, good job, great pickup. And you did the right thing buying mm -hmm. these. You just buy it. I mean, the thing is with stuff like this, you just buy it. Like, and then wherever it falls, it falls. The other unit, I think there was a $400 for parts comp. Again, asterisks on for parts receivers because we have a whole stack of them listed. Uh, not shown here in our barn. A whole stack of them not uh, listed yet. And a whole stack <laughs> of them not listed. But we're going to have to open it up. Another thing, another tip on uh, for parts units, not this one, but we're going to open up the other one. You want to take a picture of it opened because we sold a bunch of for parts stuff. And one of them that we shipped out, the guy literally, it was kind of light too for a Sony receiver even. And, uh, you know, we sold it for parts as is. But still the guy's like, dude, it's missing like half the stuff. And he sent us a picture. And remember, we ended up doing a <laughs> refund on that. Sure. Yeah, so we ended up eating that, which was not fun. But that's just the story of one of our uh, mistakes because we do make mistakes. We're human beings yeah, that's and right. that's a thing. It happens. But seriously, like, uh, how do you feel? I feel like I did well. I'm not looking forward to the whole like shipping process later. But... Right. Of course. We're going to have to be really. But if it sells for a decent amount of money, then it's all worth it. Yeah. All right, guys. So you might have heard about the recent Lego piece. So there was only like 30 of these apparently made, and this was sold by uh, Goodwill in Pennsylvania. And it sold for $18,101. I, I think they put it through their auction site, which is absolutely insane. This is 14 karat gold uh, Lego Bionicle Howl Mask. I hopefully pronounced that right. And that, that's just wild. But uh, there's more. Uh, honestly, you can keep going down the rabbit hole. Nobody can actually ever like truly know what the most expensive item I guess, but uh, there's definitely, this is in contention. So you've got the Frank Benson uh, painting here and uh, Frank Weston Benson, I'm sorry. And it's a 1923 watercolor. And uh, the Goodwill store sold this online auction and ended up getting, and this is the Portland, Oregon area, $165,002 there. So. I don't know if the bidding was in increments of a dollar or something to get that $2 extra there, but somebody really wanted it that much more, I guess. Uh, really wild. So we've got Goodwill uh, sells a sealed copy. Okay, it keeps getting crazier. Of the NES Legend of Zelda for $411,000. This guy's brand new sealed. This game was like 60 bucks in the store and they managed to sell this for four hundred and eleven thousand dollars now mind you like not first off this is a landmark game i mean everybody loves zelda myself included multiple t-shirts for the game here because i love zelda but i couldn't imagine spending four hundred and eleven thousand uh for this yeah it is insane um the collector's estimating it's an eight to eight and a half out of 10. So like if you've got a sealed one of these and it's super beat up, I don't know if I would expect to retire on that, but still crazy, that's insane. And then um, this is actually a story that happened at a thrift store that I used to frequent quite a bit. In fact, I, I, at one point I was going there like every day, it was right down the road from me in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I'm now in the Dayton, Ohio area for anybody that cares. This guy purchased a, a what he thought to be a poster or reproduction 
created by Pablo Picasso, so reproduction. And he spent 1414 for it, right? He got it appraised, and I, re- I remember first hearing about it before he sold it, and the appraisal being like $15,000, which is insane. That was uh, the article I had read back in the day. It was actually in a paper, a real paper, like... Uh, Nobody uses those hardly anymore. It ended up selling it off, or no, he sold it to a private buyer, excuse me. And I think the private buyer was through an auction house, if you read uh, further into here, uh, Swan Auction Galleries. So they sold it for 7000 or 7500 It says both in the article, but whatever. Uh, that's just insane that a thrift store that I actually used to go to all the time had a Pablo Picasso uh, print in it that actually sold for that much money. Talk about a crazy flip. Let me know down in the comments some of the most valuable things you've heard of being donated to Goodwill or other thrift stores. And maybe uh, what's your most expensive flip? I would love to hear it. Really do appreciate the support. We did something a little bit different today. Uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. I've got a ton of hours into this one, as I hope you can tell by uh, how much I put into this video. Really would appreciate that. Also, if you hit the like button on the way out. If you're curious what it's like to go to 70 thrift stores or at least visit 70 thrift stores in one week and what somebody would find doing so, maybe check out this video because uh, it's a mini series. It's a two-parter. It's awesome. And uh, I think there's a lot of value there. Again, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.